when I'm talking to another podcaster, like what mic to use might be the, so, how do I grow my audience and how do sure. I monetize? Those are two big yeah. ones. Yeah. Those are the big ones we typically get in growing your audience is, is it's easy to understand, but it takes a long time. It's easy to understand that it's engagement. You try to connect with an individual. You try to not only talk to them through the podcast. Like I said, you could bring them on your podcast. You could chat with them. You can also engage with them offline or through social media. So that's the way to do engagement. But the way to monetize a podcast, to me, it's not about advertising. You make very little money through advertisements, very little. But if you have a book to sell, if you have a course, if you have some sort of service you can um, provide to your listenership, those are the type of things where you, you make money. But to me, I don't, I don't like to think of a podcast as solely about making money. I like to think of it as about the engagement part. That to me comes first. And when you say, why am I you know, writing a book or do I look down at writing the book? I think all of these things tie together. I think one should write a, should write a book, should have a podcast and should do speaking engagements. I think those three things tie together to build one person's reputation and help them build their reputation, otherwise brand. And that helps them advance themselves individually as well as in their career. So when we work with, with clients to, to build themselves up and climb the corporate ladder, we also work with artists in, in the entertainment industry and help them design their brand to get it out to as many people as possible. Because again, to me, branding is much more than slapping a logo on something and calling it branded. It requires all of these steps. It's not just one piece, it's all of the pieces. 